You are a god. See? There you go, you motherfucker. Gravity doesn't even apply to you. I actually don't like a lot of attention. And yet I've chosen this job, which is really odd. Anytime you really dig into the life of theater people, movie people, uh, actors, inevitably you've got some blend of Action. authentic passion for storytelling and what it does for other people. And then you've got narcissism, preening self-regard, all of it. You, with your cell phone, lighting up your face and fucking with my mojo. It's what makes theater people such a, a tribe, you know? Stop looking at the world through your cell phone screen. Have a real experience. Does anybody give a shit? truth other than me. I mean, the set is fake, the bananas are fake. It's been a couple of times where I've said to Alejandra, gosh, we've really got a bad rap, haven't we? Actors are very complex people, and we are absolutely worth poking some fun at or exploring. You should put something here. You have to disappear. Yeah, because you're like this. You like? Yeah. Like here. Exactly like that. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So let me see. You know, it's with yeah. one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hate to use the term midlife crisis. Bang. Take it from a guy who's been through like three of them probably in his life, and I've bored the shit out of myself every fucking time I did it. It's very luxurious. But he is going through whatever he is going through as a person anyway, compounded by a guy who's bought in to self importance and people paying attention. And, you know, if he was insecure, a little bit now as insecurity is just skyrocketing. This play kind of starting to feel like a miniature deformed version of myself that just keeps following me around and like hitting me in the balls with a like a tiny little hammer. I'm sorry, what was the question? Never mind. It's not just about actors, it's about people. Someone in crisis and a father and a daughter trying to connect with each other again. It's about people trying to do something that they care about. This is the battle that this character is going through. It's just to recognize what has been his priorities and where this ego has been leading him all his life and finding out that maybe it was not the best friend that he has. Oh, no. Then when she leaves, come up and look in the Yeah, screen. exactly, you look this. Yeah. And then you move. Yeah. We're all kind of involved in this public thing now. There's this obsession with our phones and with quick reviews and what everybody else is saying about everybody. And that's what this is sort of about, keeping up with the Joneses. I heard a funny story. A couple of ladies were passing the marquee and they were clearly impressing one another with their Broadway knowledge. One woman turned to the other and said, Regan Thompson, he looks familiar. I've never seen him in anything. And the other one says, oh, I have. You know he's English which he's not, and he's not even a real person, but I love that one of them was convinced that he was English and even was trying to impress the other one by knowing that.